Well, first of all, they're not black. It's a recording device that's in the back of an airplane. It's back at the end so that it's the last thing to hit the mountain if you're running into one. Going into that recording device, there are two different kinds of information. In a flight data recorder, there is a readout from every single instrument, every single switch, every single lever in the cockpit. The other piece of recording equipment is a cockpit voice recorder. And it's just so we know what the pilots were saying to each other. Armed with those two things, it would be possible to investigate very successfully almost any airplane accident that has ever happened in the world. But they will survive the crash. They can go down thousands of feet in the ocean and they still survive. You could throw one into a fire and leave it for 24 hours, it would still survive. Or you can hit a brick wall at 100 miles or 1,000 miles an hour and it will still survive and be usable. Well, the plane would start doing unusual things. The black box doesn't understand that it's been shot down. What it understands is it was at 12,000 feet and suddenly in a, in a strange fashion, it's gone very rapidly down to 8,000 and it's still going down. So it records all of these things. It records absolutely every second of what's happening. So it would be saying to itself, my, my nose is very low. It's going down and we're going faster and faster because it knows that also. So it will tell people on the ground when they're investigating the accident, this happened, that happened, the pilots did this, the pilots did that, this came over the radio. You know, all of those things will become available which never would have been known to the people that are investigating. They will know absolutely every movement of every switch in the cockpit if the pilots were changing switches. Chances are they were working very hard trying to fly the airplane to get on the ground safely. But it will know and it will tell everybody.